and I just the whole time all I did was huddle close to her and keep her warm because that's all I was thinking nothing else they were trapped in a tram in frigid temperatures and they had their baby with them tonight we talked to a couple about their scary weekend trip they were among the dozens on the Canton Mountain or Cannon Mountain tram when you could see it just stop moving and along with their eight-month-old baby they had to rappel down to safety Shante Lance tonight has their story the moments it's kind of scary during a rescue while on a birthday and Valentine's Day trip, George Sabrina and eight-month-old Remy Lewis were among some 45 passengers dangling in the air. I have an infant on here, and it's, it's cold, really cold. They were trapped on a tram midway up New Hampshire's Cannon Mountain. It started going for about 30 seconds, and then boom, it just stopped. He says crews told passengers there were some minor mechanical issues and should be up and running in seven minutes. Then 15 minutes went by, then 20 minutes went by, and they said that there was a uh, mechanical engine failure. After an hour, the sun started to set and temperatures dropped. I was like, it's 20 degrees or, or below on this thing. How am I going to keep my baby warm? Uh, the people around us were absolutely awesome. They gave us some extra jackets and, and, uh, and feet warmers and sock warmers. I don't remember anything else that was going on uh, around me because all I could think about is how do I keep this baby warm? How do I keep her safe? Two hours later, help arrived. My wife was the third person, and then I hopped in the basket, held their baby in my arms, and was lowered down to, to safety. A close call turned into cherished moments. I think she was the youngest in history to be uh, dropped down via emergency evac uh, on uh, Cannon Mountain. Uh, <laughs> and the Lewises are back home in Connecticut tonight. They say although their tram stalled, that's still not going to stop them from returning to Cannon Mountain. In the Satellite Center, Shante Lands. WBZ News.